And speaking of the parade, thank goodness it's early. I'm sure it's still going to be a little muggy. It is going to be warm, but let's just be thankful that it's going to be dry for the parade. Here's what you need if you're going to head out to the parade or enjoying any activities outdoors, not only this morning, but into the afternoon. You're not going to need the jacket by any means. It's going to be in the 70s this morning and soaring to nearly 90 degrees later on this afternoon. Now, with that heat and humidity in place, as we get towards the peak heating of the day, there is a chance that we'll have a few pop-up thunderstorms developing. So make sure you have the WHR weather app with you as you're out enjoying these activities because you can track the chances for those storms. Plus it has a lightning detection in the app and it will send you a notification if there's lightning nearby. Also going to need the sunglasses because we're going to have plenty of sunshine before we see that chance for a few pop-up storms uh, later today. Here's a look outside for you this morning. Piqua I-75 at US 36. Pretty quiet on the roadways for a Monday morning likely because a lot of us do have the day off and we're going to sleep in a little bit longer uh, or stay in the house at least for a little while longer. We're at 74 in Centerville and Greenville, 72 for you in Beaver Creek and Xenia, 71 in Springfield. Numbers may fall off about one or two degrees uh, right before sunrise, but then we're going to watch them jumping as that sun comes up. Live Doppler 7 radar, we scan the skies and we're coming up dry this morning. We'll stay dry for a majority of today as high pressure is in control. Control. High pressure is a good thing because it gives us drier weather, but it also creates sinking air, which induces uh, some higher heat. It actually creates a warmer environment at times. 78 degrees as you head to the parade this morning at 10 a.m. will already be about the mid-80s as the parade is wrapping up around lunchtime. And then as we continue towards the afternoon, we get to about 90 degrees for a high. So here's Futurecast. We'll take you through your day. You do see we're dry through 10 o'clock this morning, even through about 1 p.m. Once we get past 1 o'clock this afternoon, you can see some pop-up showers and thunderstorms starting to fire off, and we'll keep that chance around into the early evening. Later on tonight, we become mainly clear again. It'll be quiet, but still muggy. We fall to about 71 late tonight and into the start of tomorrow. Tuesday, repeat of today. We're dry in the morning, we warm through those 70s, we get into the afternoon, and then we're in that peak heating of the day from 2 o'clock through about 6 p.m., a chance for a few pop-up showers and storms. Now, any storm that does get going, whether it's today or tomorrow, may produce some very heavy rainfall, uh, perhaps some isolated gusty winds as well. 91 degrees is going to be our high tomorrow. You factor in the humidity, and it's going to feel more like the mid to upper 90s. Now, we're going to keep that high heat and humidity in place for the next three days. We have 90 degree temperatures Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Technically for the Miami Valley, that would be a heat wave and would be the fourth of this summer. So it is quite warm as we head into the first week of September. We'll stay warm and muggy towards the end of the week, but we're also going to increase the chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday. Coming up at 530, we'll take a look at what you can expect as we head towards your upcoming weekend. Weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's take a look at those roadways this morning with John Tisdale. Good morning, John. Good morning, uh, McCall. We continue to have a, a terrific driving conditions here on this Monday morning. And one of the areas we're checking is I-75 along uh, near 675. As you can see, traffic is uh, light this morning, but traffic moving pretty well on both north and southbound 675 this morning. And you're getting ready to head out this morning um, from uh, eastbound 70 at US 127 to I-75. That's a 21-mile drive. It'll take about 20 minutes. I'm John Tisdell, WHIO Team Traffic. John, thank you. It is 520, 74 degrees. Certain lifestyles can take a toll on children's health. The effects homelessness can have on a child. A semi catching fire and blowing up on a Texas highway. What that truck was carrying that made it so flammable. From the Big Bang 